Hey there, welcome back. This is our third video about working with a mesh. Let's take a look at the graphic area. I've got a part and it has some cosmetic fillets and a cosmetic pattern. I call them cosmetic because they don't affect the part's integrity. However, they do significantly increase the number of elements when I create a mesh. As a result, as I will demonstrate, there's a significant increase in the computing time required. Well, let's check out how all this works by running a study. Let's go up to the Study Advisor in the top left corner of the screen. Click on the menu Flyout arrow and select New Study. I'll just accept the default name Study 1, click OK. Now right click on 06, select Apply Edit Material. I'll use 1020 Steel. Let's just apply and close. Let's deselect everything. And let's apply some fixtures. Right click, Fix Geometry. Let's use the Fix Geometry option under Standard. Now I'm going to select four faces in the graphic area. Here we go, let's click OK. Let's apply some load now. So right click on External Load, select Force. Let's select this face here. Under Units, I'm going to change to English PSI. Now I'll enter a value, let's say 10,000 PSI, and click Accept. We're now ready to create a mesh. Let's right-click on the Mesh node, select Create Mesh. Let's accept the default settings and click OK. And as you see, my computer calculates It takes a bit of time. About 20 seconds now, and our calculation is complete. Let's right-click on the Mesh node and select Details. As you see, we've got quite a number of elements here, 78,000. Let's close the Details window and run Study 1. Click on Run. And a little time is required to run the study. Now I'm going to check on the maximum displacement value. As you can see here, it's about 87 thousandth of a millimeter. By the way, if you see a different unit here, you can just right click and select Edit Definition. Here you can select a number of options, including the units. Let's also unselect the Deform Shape option. And click OK. OK, let's keep that displacement value in mind and return to our model. I'm going to suppress the fillet and the revolve. Right click, Suppress. As you see, Linear Patterns 1 and 2 are suppressed since they are child features of Revolve 1. Let's go back to Study 1. I want to recalculate that mesh. So let's right click on the mesh node, select Create Mesh. Yeah, let's delete the results for Study 1, accept the default settings, and click OK. OK, let's take a look at the details. Right click on the mesh node, select Details. As you see, we've got about 9,000 elements now. Let's close the Details window. As you notice, the calculation was significantly faster as well, just a second to do. Now let's run the study. As you can see, the calculation is significantly faster now as well. The displacement value is virtually identical to our previous study at about an 87 thousandth of a millimeter. The point I'm trying to make here is this. Cosmetic features that don't affect the integrity of your model are better off suppressed in order to run your simulation faster. Now on the other hand, it's important not to go overboard with the suppression of features. If you're not sure whether the feature affects the integrity of your model or not, just leave it unsuppressed.
The more experience you have with SOLIDWORKS simulation, the easier it gets to simplify a part without compromising the integrity. At minimum, it's going to certainly speed up your time working with simulation. Now in the case of this part, I have cosmetic fillets and dimples, so let's just tweak our model a little to see which elements have a greater impact on the calculation time. In my model, the fillet affects the integrity of the part more than the cosmetic dimples, but it doesn't affect the calculation time. Let's click on the Model tab, and here we are back in the model environment, and let's unsuppress fillet 1. Right-click on fillet 1 and select Unsuppress. For now, we'll leave Revolve 1 and its child features linear patterns 1 and 2 suppressed. Now with the fillet unsuppressed, let's create a new mesh in Study 1. So go back to the tab for Study 1. And right-click on the Mesh node, Create Mesh. Let's click OK here. Let's click the Reset button to accept the default parameters. And boom, we're done. The calculation time basically was not affected. Let's check out the details. As we see, the number of details has changed just slightly. 9,132. Let's run the study now. The calculation time is virtually the same again. Let's go to displacement. And we end up with just a slightly different displacement value. This concludes our third video about working with mesh. We'll see you back in a minute.